Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for coming over. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming by. If you're new, I just want to let you know that my channel is basically about luxury handbags, contemporary handbags, um, styling, um, clothing. Basically, it's called Cammy's Closet because anything that's in my closet that I find of interest that I think you guys might be interested in seeing, um, that's what I do. Uh, not necessarily my clothing closet or my handbag closet. It could be my curio closet. So it's just all that kind of good stuff. So if you like it, then please like and subscribe. There's a subscribe button and it's free. Um, you do have to open up an account, but it costs you nothing and it just means you'll help me grow my channel and you'll get notification when I do more videos. So it's really, you know, an easy thing to do and also you'll get to see my community posts which I just learned how to do thanks to Winnie BLV um, and I list handbags that I'm selling. I have two handbags that I'm selling on there right now. If you are looking for a luxury handbag under a thousand dollars which you will pretty much not find anymore no matter what brand um, then check out my community post but let's get right into this bags that I haven't used ever now um, I know that Erin from the handbag housewife just recently did this video and she kind of did it off of Amelia Rose's closet who also did a video just like this about two weeks ago um, but looking through my archives I did this video five months ago. So I'm going to link that video down below. And of course, I'm going to link Aaron's video from the Handbag Housewife. And I'm going to link Amelia Rose's closet because we're a team here. We do all the same videos. I mean, we are luxury handbag channel, which means we are going to do the same videos tweaked a little bit, modified a little bit, but basically we're all doing the same. We all have most of the same bags. We do the same unboxings. It's all the same. So again, I'll link my channel from five months ago that I did, and I'm going to tell you that on that video, I had um, the Balenciaga, Balenciaga Mini City, which I used since then several times and now I can't use it because of you know the scandal <laughs> so that's tucked away um, the two Louis Vuitton toiletries 19 and 15 I used both of them um, I had the uh, coach it was a, a chalk color barrel bag and coach I used that I also had the um, the Loewe Top Handle Mini Gate in Caramel, which I recently just sold to um, Eva from Fuchsia Floyd, and she did an unboxing, so it's a gorgeous bag. I'll put her channel down below also. Um, and what else was my other... Um, hmm. It was the uh, Mini Gate, the Coach, yeah. Those were, yeah, five. The Balenciaga, the two toiletries, the Loewe, and the Coach. So since then, all those bags have been used. In the last five months, one sold. So that's 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 pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good record so far. Yeah. Well, since then, I have added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new luxury bags to my collection. Yes, seven. And um, I haven't used any of them. One of which I have, and I featured it in my Love at First Sight bag. So I'm going to start with that one because I've had it for probably over seven months, and I absolutely love it. No, seriously, I love this bag and still have not used it. Can you guys guess? I don't know. If you've been following my channel, you might be able to guess. This video also was done a very long time ago. My YSL camera, it is called a camera, a round camera bag in the denim. Again, when I look at this bag, my heart beats fast. I absolutely love it and I swore that I would use it in the fall and now we're in the winter and I just didn't, didn't take it out. 
didn't take this bag out. This bag is gorgeous. I have no intention of getting rid of it. Um, it does not hold my phone, which is the 7, I think. It, it kind of goes in there, but it makes the bag deformed a little bit. So um, this bag is the kind of bag I would like to use with the jacket or pants, jeans that have a pocket. So I have my phone somewhere else. Anyway, why? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's the bag I've had the longest. The second bag I also featured on Love at First Sight that I still have not used. I didn't even take the tags off yet. My Loewe Puzzle Small in the two-tone, Sand and Mink. From Fashion File, it's in pristine condition, not a mark on it. It was like, it's like new. I adore this bag. I love this bag. Another bag that I look at and my heart flutters. I haven't even taken the, the tag off. Why? If there are any psychologists out there or, you know, psychiatrists watching, because I'm sure you have so much time to watch YouTube videos, what do you think? What's the reason? I kind of think it's because I love them so much that I'm so afraid of ruining them. I think that's part of it because I don't have the kind of funds to just go and buy it again. So um, I used to do that with clothing too. I would just keep clothing in my closet with tags on them because I was afraid to use them because I didn't want anything to happen because then I wouldn't have them anymore and I might not be able to find it again. Even if it was just like $25 jeans. Anyway, next, recent to my collection, most recent, I just got for Christmas and you probably saw my thumbnail. My Fendi medium baguette in the black leather. Haven't taken it out of the box yet, except for now. Why? I mean, it's such a simple bag to use. I have a Gucci Disco Soho bag that's black leather and gold. I grab that one all the time. Why don't I just grab this one? Look, I didn't even take the sticker off. The stickers are still the sticker is still on the hardware. I I why not? Wear it today. I'm going to have lunch. I should just throw it on, right? What if the waiter spills pea soup? With that being said, the same day, this is when I went to the Short Hills Mall with Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, and I will link her channel down below just because I love her. This amazing Louis Vuitton Papillon, if I said that correctly, trunk in the, you know, the barrel shape, which I happen to adore. Haven't taken it out of the bag. I just attached these so you could see it. The Fendi and this Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, are my two most expensive bags in my entire collection for one single bag. And um, I promised I would never do that again, unless of course I'd, I, I don't know, I win the, you know, multi-billion dollar lottery or multi-million, you know. Why? Why am I not? Uh... Pretty new to my collection. I'm saving my bag of the day because that bag I haven't used either and I'm gonna use it today. So I'm saving that for the last. Just recently, added this beautiful orange Jimmy Choo bag. If you've been following me, you know that this was a fiasco. It did not come with the dust bag from Neiman Marcus. The bag was originally $1,800. It was on sale at Neiman for $1,200. But because I kept calling and saying, where's my dust bag, where's my dust bag, they kept giving me more money back. So in total, um, besides getting 10% back from Rakuten, so it brought the bag down to like, um, a thousand they gave me an additional four hundred and fifty dollars off so it came to um oh my, my calculator is not working it's too early 
Um, a thousand less four fifty. That's uh, five fifty, I think. A thousand less six would be four plus. Yeah. Oh my God! I really got this for a, a, like a steal. So of course I was keeping it. The dilemma was I have the long chomp bag in the orange, and they're very similar, but. For this price, it was really like I stole the bag. And I got a dust bag on eBay, which I have sitting over here, which I don't really like. I paid $15 for it. It's as thin as shit. Um, I don't even think it's real, but it's good enough for now. So um, I haven't used this bag, but honestly, I used the orange long chomp, and I decided that I think this would be a better spring and summer bag. So I'm going to hold off on that one. I have plans for it. Okay. Fendi, Louie, YSL Denim, Puzzle, Jimmy. Two more bags. Two more bags. Now this bag. This bag was just luck. For all of you have, who have been following me, you know I've had this bag since prior to Thanksgiving. And I purchased it on, um, I think, uh, Bergdorf. Bergdorf? Yeah, and it's a Valentino um, rock stud crossbody, and the you know they're still selling, and they are uh, they're listed as fourteen ninety fifteen hundred dollars, um, but mine was listed under the wrong name, and the price was seven hundred and fifty, and I know that a lot of you, a good handful, I know three of you guys, including someone I'm very friendly with. Uh, purchased this right after I did the video because the price was insane. We know that they made a mistake on this price. Um, it should have been $14.90 and I got it for $7.50 and the other women that ordered it, it all came, it, it came as the original correct bag which was actually the envelope wristlet pouch in the rock stud. That's the bag that was $7.50 not this one this was a mistake and bergdorf sent it to me it was bergdorf right oh my god i'm sorry i mean i i, I can't remember um it was bergdorf right not neiman i think bergdorf well bloomingdale no i think it was bergdorf correct me if i'm wrong I, whichever one it was they corrected the mistake and they found out that they were sending everyone this bag this gorgeous either uh, handheld or crossbody Valentino rock stud they were sending it for $750 so I'm very happy that I did not send it back but I haven't used it yet um, I'm definitely gonna use this bag I, I love this bag I love this bag um, and it was an amazing price okay so those were six Last but not least, also a great deal. I got refunded. This was on sale for the, ver, bleh, again, it's very early, forgive me. Versace, Ale or La Medusa. Never a fan of Medusa. A little creeped out by her, but I like it in the gunmetal. And this bag came with a chain to wear just as a shoulder strap, not a crossbody. If you followed my channel and you saw that video, I was a little bit taken back by the chain. It was like, it's made of like lucite or plastic or whatever the material is. It's very, it's very light and chintzy. But the bag was originally like 2300 or 2100 and it was on sale for, I don't know, it came down to like, 11 or 12 or you know what I don't remember I did not do my research for every single bag that I'm showing you guys um, but I ended up getting this bag for approximately $800 again another steal not that 800 is a small amount to pay for a handbag but this is 
a luxury handbag channel and we are part of a luxury community so these are the prices we pay so when i say that 800 because that we know that's insane you can go get a gorgeous bag at tj maxx for 75 dollars or go to macy's and get a, a beautiful fossil bag for 125 yes we know that but for the luxury community 800 dollars for this bag is a steal 750 for this bag is a steal <laughs> only like 500 dollars for this jimmy choo bag that was originally 1800 is a steal bag of the day never wore it never took it out until today it has all my stuff in it ready to go um, the only thing I didn't do is I threw my keys in without a key holder, which I'm a little bit concerned about because the inside of this bag is all leather. Um, so I may see if my, um, my, uh, that's another video. I haven't used my Gucci key pouch because the zipper pull fell off and it was on my curb outside the whole day and I didn't even know it. So I switched over to my YSL key pouch. So maybe I'll do that video um, tomorrow. I also wanna do the one bag tag tomorrow, but I also wanna get my other older son to do a video with me. My younger son did one yesterday. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you didn't, check out my video yesterday about The Price is Right. My younger son, Mikey, did that video um, with me yesterday, so I want my older son, Danny, to do one. So I'm not sure, maybe he'll do one with me tomorrow, and I will do the other tag, one bag tag next week. And next week, I also have a collab coming up with Yoda from Yoda Style, Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, Winnie from Winnie BLV and Eva from Fuchsia Floyd. We're all doing a great collab next Saturday, the 21st, January 21st. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, tell me what you think. Why am I not wearing these bags? Seven new bags to my collection, two of which I've had for well over six months. And I'm finally taking this baby out today. Anyway, tell me what you think. Why? The only thing I could think of, well, I have two reasons. There's just not enough days in the week. I work full time. I do not use small bags like this for work. I carry totes. So where am I going on the weekend? Weather permitting, I use you know bags based on the weather. Um, there's only two days in the weekend. So, you know, it's not enough time in the week, not enough time in the month to use all the bags. Um, or I'm afraid to ruin the bags that I really, really love because I can't afford to replace them. Tell me what you think. And I will link all those channels down below. Please go see whoever I mentioned and I will put them down below. Great people, great channels, and have a great Sunday. Bye.